evidence surface, Tunubu may end up in jail himself over a Mifili and Boala's arrest. See his next plan. Um, the issue of Emifili still in detention and also the issue of the uh, EFCC chairman still being in detention because of Bola Metunu is, um, is an issue of fraud. And um, I think uh, it's something that requires um, a, a, a continuous investigation. I don't think they have gotten the, the, the real uh, information they need to gather or get, you know, concerning these two. Because left alone me, I am not still satisfied with the evidences. I still believe that a Mayfili and this EFC chairman committed very big offense. Look at all the evidences that are coming out after the detention of Emefile. Look at all the confession that Emefile is confessing. The people is corporate and, and what have you. Same goes to the um, EFCC chairman. My people, whether Tunubu will go to jail or not, eh? at least, at least, let the truth be revealed. You understand? Let the truth be revealed and let the devil be ashamed. You understand? I don't talk my own. All right, let's quickly hear from you, my people, based on this very matter. Um, I beg it concern you, it concern me, it concern everybody. All right, my people, let's quickly check the content and know what the truth is actually all about. This is Morning News. Renowned constitutional lawyer Festus Ogun has emerged as a prominent critic of President Bola Ahmed Tunubu's action, specifically focusing his concern on what he characterized as the heedless, unlawful, and ongoing detention of Godwin Emefile, the suspended governor of the Central Bank of Nigeria, CBN. The unfolding events traced back to June 10th when the Department of State Services DSS took a Mefile into custody shortly after President Tunubu suspended him from his esteemed position and subsequently initiated an inquiry into the activities of the CBN. It's worth noting that Justice Nicholas Owebo of the Federal High Court Abuja in Lagos had granted a Mephiles bill in July, setting a bail bond at 20 million naira. However, this legal decision seems to bear limited significance as the moment a Mephiles was released on bail. He was promptly reapprehended by the DSS. A development that raised numerous eyebrows and invited strong criticisms. Festus Ogun's criticism extends beyond the matter of Emefile to include President Tunubu's treatment of Abdul Rashid Bawa, who had served as the chairman of the Economic and Financial Crime Commission (EFCC) from February 24. 2021 until its suspension on June 14th, 2023. The suspension was attributed to allegations of corruption and other improperties. Ogu's sentiment was articulated through his Twitter account where he expressed even the avoid available evidences it appears that Bola Tunubu is said to follow a trajectory remissant of that laid out by Buari, especially concerning the upholding of the rule of law and the protection of human rights. 
How else can one characterize the careless, unlawful, and continuous detention of Emefile, as well as the suspension of Abdul Rashid Bawa from his role at the EFCC? Such actions are fundamentally anti democratic and deeply concerning. In a related vein, recent revelations have come to light regarding the circumstances surrounding Emefile's re-arrest by the DSS, according to an informed source. The suspension of the former central bank governor was underpinned by an arrest warrant that had been obtained from a magistrate court. The development has been met with a mixture of surprise and concern particularly in light of the previous court order granting a Mephiles bill. Nevertheless, the DSS chose to apprehend him on July 25th. Okay, uh, my people, well, if um, a Mephiles is still in detention anyway, the investigation is still on, and um, even the EFCC chairman too. I would say that uh, because of what is happening now in the Niger, that case should be left pending. But a Mephile should still be in detention. No? That is what that is the price he has to pay, because he equally made Nigerians to pay a lot of prices. So let him enjoy the same price. You understand? Then, when we are done with the settlement of the Niger crisis, then his case can be revisited. You can see that no, not much, no, uh, nobody is paying attention to him anymore because of the issue in the Niger. But they will soon come back to his case. But meanwhile, investigation concerning him should still be on. So that once um, the issue of the Niger crisis is over, then one can just quicken his case and then see how to find a lasting solution to his freedom. That is, if um, he really merits it. You understand? And that's just it. So, let's hear you, my people, on this very matter. And uh, let's know the truth concerning what already has just been revealed concerning God with the and his freedom. Hmm? All right. Please don't forget to leave that below the comment section. Click on the subscription buttons as well as the bell buttons to get updated each time we upload any new videos. Thank you.